watch your videos, and view all your social networks in one place. You can even make money with banner ads and send push notifications directly to your audience to make sure they get your messages. Everyone has their phones on them, right? A mobile app will add credibility to your brand because your content will be accessible to them while they're on the go. BB Mobile Apps also makes apps for bloggers, actors, and producers. The process only takes about 20 minutes. Just go to bbmobileapps.com and click Get Started Now. That's bbmobileapps.com and tell them the Doug Stewart Show sent you. Doug Stewart here to tell you about my man Smooth at smoothtickets.com. Smooth's got the tickets for everything that you need in the world of sports, concerts, or theater. I don't care what it is. I don't care where it's at in this great land of ours. My man Smooth at smoothtickets.com. He got them tickets. I'm telling you. Boxing. Baseball, NBA, NFL, country music concerts, hard rock, hip-hop, theater, Broadway. He's got them all. And if he don't have them, there ain't none. I'm telling you, smoothtickets.com. Once again, that's smoothtickets.com. Or give him a call at 404-374-1150. Once again, that's 404-374-1150. You got to tell him, though, that I sent you. You got to tell them that Doug Stewart sent you. Once again, SmoothTickets.com. That's SmoothTickets.com. Yeah! National Debt Relief is one of the country's largest and most reputable debt settlement companies. Made up of energetic individuals who are passionate about helping thousands of Americans with debt relief. Most importantly, we're all about helping our customers through a tough financial time in their lives with education and individual customer service. We're dedicated to helping individuals and families rid their lives of burdensome debt. Specializing in debt settlement, and they've also negotiated settlements for thousands of creditor and collection accounts. Providing clients with both expertise and proven results, this means helping customers in time of hardship to get out of debt with the least possible cost. It can also mean conducting financial consultations, educating the customer, and recommending the appropriate solution. Core services offer debt settlement as an alternative, I repeat, alternative to bankruptcy, credit counseling, and debt consolidation. National Debt Relief is your number one advocate group to help you reestablish financial stability as quickly as possible. So give us a call at 844-828-4975. Again, that's 844-828-4975, and work it out. Bad boy, baby. Welcome back to the Doug Stewart Show. Man Talk Monday. We need your ballers and your busters. Your game balls and your goats. A lot to give out from this past weekend, man. Ball award to the Clemson Tigers as they get it done beating Louisville. Yeah. Hold on. Go ahead, Biggie. Do it. Wanna smoke? Throw you in a choke. Gun smoke, gun smoke. Biggie smoke for mayor. The rap slayer. The slayer. Motherfucker. Say your prayer. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> hey, uh, welcome back to the Doug Stewart Show. So, Biggie interrupted me, but ball award to the Clemson Tigers, man. They get it done over Louisville. Just a phenomenal game. You know what that game reminded me of? It reminded me of the national championship uh, between USC and Texas when Vince Young was the quarterback. And I believe... Uh, Matt Liner was a quarter was the uh, quarterback for the USC Trojans, but back and forth, back and forth, two phenomenal quarterbacks uh, in this game. I thought at the very end that Louisville and Lamar Jackson were going to find a way to to push the ball into the end zone. He just played phenomenally the second half. We'll get more into it. Uh, ball award to Louisville in a losing effort. Ball award to Lamar Jackson, who I still think, even after the loss, is still the front runner for the Heisman Trophy. Like, they only dropped, I think, two spaces. I think they dropped to number seven in the new AP poll. Um, they're going to probably win out. There's going to be teams in front of them. Ohio State and, and Michigan still have to play each other. There are going to be teams that have losses in front of them. They still can find their way in their final four, um, in the final four for the, for the playoffs. So we'll see. But just a great game, man. I'm happy Clemson won because I'm 
from the great state of South Kakalaki. Um, and I'm rooting for Deshaun Watson, man. But, man, that was a great game. Ball of war to, to both teams. Hey, the number to the show is 404-382-0338. You can also email me at Doug at the DougStewartShow.com. The easy way to be totally interactive, though, is just to jump into the chat room on Spreaker.com. Speaking of which, let me jump into the chat room. I saw this one message from a man, Rel, the intern, Scott, who is the unofficial intern to the Doug Stewart Show. Rel says, Cam is the true, but mentally he's not in the right space. Everything bothers him on the field. That first penalty when he threw the ball at Debo, I was like, we got him. And Rel's an uh, Atlanta Falcons fan. Yeah, I don't think Cam's in the right space right now mentally. I mean, first of all, he doesn't have a running game. I mean, and somebody else mentioned it in the chat room about the uh, running back, uh, Fozzie Whitaker. I mean, who the hell names their damn son Fozzie? I mean, obviously the man's mama was a fan of the Muppet Show. Um, but anyway, he has no running game. It, it, too much responsibility is on his shoulders. He has to run the football. Who's He's the leading rusher for the team. Uh, Stewart is always hurt. Jonathan Stewart is always hurt. Once again, the defense doesn't put them in good positions. The defense has just been bad this year. And I don't know what happened. I guess it is Josh Newman. Or I keep saying Newman. Josh Norman. It is Josh Norman. He's the only variable that's missing from that dominant defense over the last couple of years. But they aren't playing the same. Um, And the offensive line, man, has just been getting crushed. And so Cam's running for his life. They're, they're hitting this dude helmet to helmet every other series, and the referees ain't calling it. Um, and you know what else I think is, is probably playing into Cam's mediocre play? Not bad play, but mediocre play, average play. Um, this Cam Newton, you know, not keeping it real. This kinder, gentler Cam Newton. This apologetic version of Cam Newton, you know, the Cam Newton that was braggadocious, had swag galore, didn't care what anybody said about him, just went out there and had fun. Uh, I mean, he's not the same guy mentally from that aspect as well. And maybe that's affecting him. I don't know. A lot of people were killing Cam yesterday on Twitter. And you're listening to the Doug Stewart show. A lot of people were killing him. Um... And the fact that he's kind of, you know, calmed down as far as his outspokenness. Um, And a lot of people don't like that. And once again, I don't like it either. But I'm not going to kill a guy for changing his tune and basically being, you know, a company man. And, you know, trying to say all what he interprets as the right things to the media. And not talking about black lives, this, that, and the other. Uh, I, I don't like this Cam Newton, all right? Uh, and maybe that has something to do with it. I, I have no clue, but he is not playing as good as he had in the past. But once again, to all those people out there saying that Cam Newton was a fluke last year, that's a lie. I actually looked up, and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. I actually looked up the last 20 years. Let me see. Let me make sure that's right. The last 20 years of NFL MVPs, okay? And I'm looking at this list. Obviously, last year you had Cam Newton. You had Aaron Rodgers. Uh, Peyton Manning, Adrian Peterson, uh, Tom Brady, uh, Peyton Manning several times, uh, Damian Tomlinson, Sean Alexander, Peyton Manning, Peyton Manning, Rich Gannon, Kurt Warner, Marshall Falk, Terrell Davis, Brett Favre. Out of the last 20 years, as far as cats that have won the NFL MVP and several guys have won it several times, uh, Peyton Manning has won it, I don't know, looks like four or five times. Adrian Peterson won it uh, a couple of times as well. Brett Favre won it a couple of times. There's not one person that won the NFL MVP where anyone even considered saying that their year that they won it was a fluke. The only person that comes close, I guess, in that particular year he balled out of control was Rich Gannon, from what I can remember. Rich Gannon won the NFL MVP back in 2002. And, you know, Rich Gannon, he was kind of like a journeyman And it all came together in Oakland. Um, You know, they had a great year. I believe that's the year they went to the Super Bowl. Gruden was the coach. And he put it all together for one year, and he was phenomenal. Maybe him. Maybe he's the only guy that I'm looking at on this list that have won the MVP over the last 20 years that you could consider a fluke. 
Okay, so that means 95% of these MVPs were deservingly MVPs, okay? And Cam with his age, uh, his upside, the things that he's done so far in the league, I mean, it's insulting and it's almost uh, offensive to say Cam Newton was a fluke, all right? And I'm not going to stay on this all day, but just stop with the Cam Newton is a fluke stuff, simply put. Simply put, man, I'm looking at these running backs for the Carolina Panthers, man. Once again, the great Fozzie Whitaker, um, the Artis Payne guy. Artis Payne had six carries for 12 yards. Fozzie Whitaker, three carries for six. Once again, no Jonathan Stewart. He's always hurt. Cam Newton had five carries for 30 yards. And, I mean, everybody's killing this man. I mean, absolutely killing. He's a fake. He's fluke. He's a fluke. This, that, and the other. I agree with Rail Scott. I mean, he's not sound right now. They're beating the hell out of him. That's another thing. <laughs> They're beating the hell out of him. Um, but it ain't his fault in particular. Okay? I, I think he needs more help. Uh, it's early in the year. Uh, so we'll see. We're definitely going to keep our eyes on the Cam Newton saga. Back to the Falcons. They'll ball award to them. Great win. I want to give a ball award to a guy and to a player and to a position we rarely give ball awards to. I want to give a ball award to the center of the Atlanta Falcons, Alex Mack. What? 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 The center for the Atlanta Falcons, Alex Mack, man, has totally changed the culture of the offensive line, which for years around here, uh, you can look at their record as well based on, you know, the offensive line and, and the fact that Matt Ryan couldn't stay healthy or Matt Ryan couldn't stay upright is probably the better term. The offensive line was horrible over the last couple of years. They've got, I think, across the board, they mentioned it yesterday in the game, the smallest offensive line in the NFL. But they're quick. <laughs> they're quick into the, and they're very succinct in what they're doing out there. And it all starts with Alex Mack, man, the uh, – the captain of the offensive line, they paid him a lot of money in signing him away from the Cleveland Browns. And, I mean, the offensive line just looks phenomenal. Matt Ryan's got a lot of time out there to throw the football. Um, the running game has gr greatly, vastly improved over the last couple of years under Kyle Shanahan. Got to give him credit as well, uh, the offensive coordinator. But I think it all goes back to Alex Mack. I mean, there's a culture change with that offensive line. The Falcons' offensive line was horrible over the last couple of years. But right now, you can make the argument that they might be the best. Maybe, you know, behind the Dallas Cowboys' offensive line. But they are playing the best offensive line right now as a group in the NFL. Ball award to Alex Mack and the Falcons' offensive line. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to read some chat. I'm going to read some of the messages in the chat room on Spreaker.com, see what y'all got to say about this weekend. Uh, your ballers, your busters, give them to me in the chat room. Uh, I also want to talk about the Dallas Cowboys and Dak Prescott. Yeah. Yeah. I wish you would put that boy on the bench. <laughs> I wish y'all would. I wish Jerry Jones would put that boy on the bench. You'd be the biggest dummy. And I mean the biggest. Back in three minutes, the Doug Stewart Show. You hear that? He's coming. Every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday morning from 9 to 10 a.m. The Alpha Mail is coming, 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 coming. Only on the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network. The Alpha Mail. How would you like to be your own boss? Work the schedule you desire, all from the comfort of your home. Well, now you can. Just visit fearlessimagegroupllc.com. We have lucrative opportunities for client service professionals, specializing in connecting business-minded individuals to a variety of clients, operating Fortune 100 and 500 businesses, requiring customer service agents. That's fearlessimagegroupllc.com. Call 800-765-5362. 
2, extension 8312, and learn how you can start and run your own customer service business today. That's fearlessimagegroupllc.com. Be a part of us.